Hey YouTube, welcome to another video. Um, this time it is a speed painting of an orc. Uh, and I normally play music during these kind of videos. But um, since I'm kind of running out of free music, you know, i am been playing the same music the whole time. And it <laughs> gets kind of old, right? So uh, this time I'll just be sort of like narrating it. And uh, hopefully I have some insights into uh, what I'm doing. Um, yeah, so I watched Warcraft last night, so that's why, uh, I'm painting this. Um, can't help it. Um, I did this during my morning warm-up. I always try to do a warm-up before I start to work. Uh, and just, I don't, I don't really know why, but it actually helps to just do something loose and for myself and then start to work because somehow if I just jump straight into work I just can't seem to get through the day and everything every design or whatever I do is just feels stupid and uh, yeah everything is just much more difficult when I don't do this so right so I um, started off with uh, just like a plain background and then I start to fill in with a darker color, the, uh, the sort of like the shapes, the shapes of the shadow. Um, not sure if you're like uh, aware with uh, the Azaro heads. Uh, you should Google that. Uh, it's like the planes of the face, and uh, I just doodle pretty much until something comes out that I can work with. And um, yeah, like right now I'm. Uh, pretty much just detailing it, uh, trying to find more interesting things that I can pull out or define uh, during this work. I, uh, I I sort of like work in layers. Uh, every time I, I get a whole bunch of stuff in there, I go in with a darker or with a lighter color. And then I just, um, yeah, sort of like make a difference and push things back and pull things forward to try and get the shape out and sometimes it works better than other times but uh, I uh, usually do use either like an overlay layer for that uh, or a um, color dodge layer uh, color dodge layers only work when you fill it or well I'm not sure if they only work but they they usually work with uh, if you uh, make a color dodge layer and you fill the whole layer with a black and then you paint with white and then it sort of like brings out the lights in the in the picture um yeah so i'm just then redefining the hair a bit and uh trying to get that uh trying to get that forehead to work because it's it's really light and i sort of want the the light to come from that side of the of the picture but um yeah it's not like I'm really struggling with it. It's just I don't really know. I'm not really used to talking about my work like this and like telling you exactly like, well, I'm now painting an eye and uh, now I'm doing this and now I'm doing that. And I mean, it's sped up, so I, I have no idea what I'm going to be doing. Um, so I'm just like talking as I see it, which is kind of weird as well. Um, yeah, so what else can I say about this? Is that, like I said in the previous, I think, still life episode of let's get better is like i all try to work from uh, big to small right so try to use or try to work with the huge shapes the big shapes and the design before you really start going in zooming in and really hammering in the detail detail because uh you're gonna be you're gonna get lost in it and and it's gonna look weird and this like working it like this and like keeping it big actually sort of like staying far away from it flipping it around a bit uh to refresh the image in your head is actually like the fastest i think the fastest way to do it unless you have your own way i mean there's a million ways to roam right so um if if you have a certain way of doing it then then sure uh if it works for you that's fine but um yeah normally for me it, it really helps to uh stay away from zooming in uh you do get a very like painted look like this uh not really rendered also uh, this image took i think a little longer than um 
one hour and 40 minutes or something one one hour 40 one hour 30 something like that to paint up from start to finish so um didn't take that long uh if i want to i i think i end up with something that if i would like to and i would have the time and motivation for it i could just take it and then just go nuts on rendering it and just end up with like a very good good looking realistic character but uh i don't have the time honestly i don't really have the time to do it right now uh because i'm working on a couple of other projects uh and and I I only normally spend so much time on something that I really planned out and on. This is like I said, just a warm up sketch. Um, don't really knew what I was going to do until like the actual moment of me putting the first brush strokes down. So yeah, I uh, I feel like if I would do this, if if I would like really want to paint an orc like this, then I would just go and sketch and do some thumbnails and plan it out, plan out the design, plan out more like the emotion and whatnot. And now I just go in and just go like, ah, oh, apparently I'm painting an orc today. Cool. And then I just continue on that. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, like I said, I didn't really plan it. Uh, like right now I'm putting in a color dodge layer and then I'm instead of painting it with white I painted it with on um, uh, a really kind of a bright orange to give it sort of like those sunspot idea and uh, That I think is already like the last piece of uh, this uh, image so uh, I hope this was in some way useful to see this. Uh, I hope it wasn't too boring to listen to as well So I uh, hope to see you around Please subscribe to the channel, and uh, if you have any comments or questions or whatever, please just leave them in the comments below, and I will most definitely answer them. All right? Thank you, and see you next time. Bye-bye.